If I wear this, will she think that I'm acting like too black by wearing a certain shirt? 18 year old Bella Moore is a special needs student here at Center Reach High School. She says her math teacher was more like a bully than an educator. Bella says on at least six different occasions, the teacher intimidated her and harassed her by making comments about a midriff top she was wearing similar to this one at school. The teacher allegedly called her a derogatory name in front of the class, and that's not all. And made the comment that she can't believe that these black kids are always absent. Bella's mother says she met with the principal and the district about the teacher's alleged behavior and nothing was done. It's, it's unforgivable. You know, the school did not do the right thing by my child. They say Bella was moved out of the class and the teacher stayed put and is still teaching at the school. It's upsetting and I think it's unfair because I just saw her yesterday and she just walks around with her head held high like that as if it's okay to be racist and to be predatory and still get to work with children. The family hired an attorney after they say no disciplinary action was taken against the teacher. According to the attorney, the district allegedly talked to other students who confirmed what happened. The district itself found that this teacher made these comments about black people in general and about Bella in particular. After hearing about the allegations, the school district opened its own investigation and says it has taken action. In a statement, the superintendent said, while the district cannot discuss the specifics of those findings or the resolution that was implemented, as this is a personnel issue and confidentiality applies, as well as this is now in litigation, appropriate action was taken. During dismissal, some parents picking up their teens were shocked over the allegations. This parent did not want to show her face on camera. It's very disturbing. It's, it's horrible. I mean, children should be able to go to school and feel safe and, you know, this day and age, you know, with the racial slurs and stuff, that is not acceptable. The attorney also says eventually he will file a multi-million dollar lawsuit against the district for the alleged mental anguish. He says all of this has caused Bella.